Welcome back to the Diligent Minds Podcast, where I provide practical steps for you to become a better you. I'm your host, Dorian Jones. Let's get into it. What's going on, Diligent Minds community? Happy Monday to you. If you listen to this on the day that it comes out, I'd like to welcome all the new listeners. Thank you for choosing me out of all the options that you had. And to all my returning listeners and everyone listening to this on Apple Podcasts, go ahead and leave a rating and review. And don't forget to go ahead and follow the podcast as well. Check out the links down in the show notes where I had an online course that's going to not just help you achieve your goals, but give you a repeatable process to achieve your goals over and over again, no matter what stage you are at in your life. It's going to help you find that foundation of the things you need to do on a daily basis, and it's going to hold you accountable as well. Uh, You guys can reach out to me via text. That is all down in the show notes. And like I said, don't forget to check out the online course. Uh, We won't waste too much time today. We're going to talk all about setting boundaries. Uh, You have to set boundaries in your life so that people can know what, what they can and can't do. What things are you allowing and what things are you not? You don't want people to try to step all over you. So we're going to talk all about that in this episode. And the boundaries are the limits that you set for yourself. You know, those things that, that you allow and that you don't allow. And if you don't have them, then anything's just going to come into your personal bubble and it's going to invade your space, your mental space, emotional, physical, whatever it is, is going to invade it if you don't have those boundaries set. And me personally, I was a people pleaser at one point and I tried to please everybody. So people would try and walk over me sometimes. And even then I had boundaries, but they weren't firm. Like I step up sometimes and other times I don't say anything. So things just kind of slid by and I was just cool and just chill. And when I didn't have boundaries, I realized that this was me thinking like, no, I'm just chill. I'm just cool. Like, no, you can't be cool all the time or you can be cool. But you must also set those boundaries in place. And it took for me to put my foot down and say what I was and wasn't going to take anymore. And then some people faded away. Don't get me wrong. You're going to have people that are not going to like your decision because they used to always getting whatever they want from you or coming around you however they want. And you allowing it, you not saying anything. So you will stray away those bad weeds out of your uh, space and setting these boundaries increase my self-esteem personally. And it increased my self-worth of how I just felt about myself. I just felt good. I just felt like I was in control and it improved some of my relationships as well. And like I said, those toxic ones, they disappeared. All the people that I didn't really need, the people that I didn't like anyway, or that kind of got on my nerves a little bit. They faded away anyway, just because I set those boundaries for myself. And I want you guys to do the same. So identify what boundaries you need to set, like set those boundaries and and see how you feel. It may be uncomfortable in the beginning. It may feel like you're doing something wrong. It may feel like like you shouldn't be doing this right now. And you may feel like a like I wouldn't say a bad person, but feel like you're making a wrong decision. But you know that is right. You know, it's that thing that you need to do. I noticed who was there for me and for their own benefit. Once I set those boundaries and once I remove certain people, because those people that that were there for their benefit, those are the ones that are going to fade out of your life. Those are going to be the ones who who won't stick around or your conversation is going to change on a daily basis or you won't talk to them as much just because they can't get what they want from you. Whether they want to get a ride from you, they want to borrow something, they want to um, they want to just come around you and give you all of their problems. All those type of people will fade away once you set those boundaries. And when you have boundaries, you are in control of the energy that you allow around you. Because you heard me talk about energy before you heard me talk about the transfer of energy, how energy is never uh, killed or is never destroyed. It's always just transferred. So someone coming around you with that negative energy, positive energy, whatever it is, is going to be transferred to you and you allow what you want and dismiss what you don't want. So you decide, okay, this is something that's going to be good for me, good for my soul, good for my spiritual, good for my mental. So I'm going to allow that. But the things that aren't don't even entertain it. Don't allow them to get too close to you. It's important to be in control of your environment. Once you're in control of your environment, you feel more comfortable. You feel more safe. You feel like you have more options. If you have no boundaries, people will bring their baggage and their problems into your personal space. And it's going to make you uncomfortable. And if you don't say anything about it, you don't speak up for it, then it's going to continue to happen. And it's going to continue to make you uncomfortable. Think of your boundaries like 
like it being your personal bubble. You got this one bubble around you. You sitting here in this bubble. Have you ever seen that that movie with Adam Sandler? I think it was Bubble Boy, Bubble Man, something like that, where he's in a bubble, basically. You choose what things come in and when. Like, okay, I want to allow that right now. I don't want this around me at this moment, but later on, I'll let that into my bubble. You set your boundary so you can say what's going to come into your bubble or your box, however you want to phrase it. What or who is in your personal bubble now that's disturbing your peace in any form. Like the people who's around you right now in your bubble that need to get kicked out. Who's around you? You're like, all right, I know that they, you know, we good friends. We nice people. We co-workers, but they're not good for me. They're not. I don't want to hear the conversation all the time. I don't like that. They talk negative. I don't like the, the energy that they bring around me. Who's around you right now who needs to get out of your bubble? Start identifying those people and start setting boundaries with those people first. And as you do it there, as you do it with people who you don't desire to have in your life, or who you don't desire to have in your bubble, I should say, because you're not removing them out of your life necessarily, unless that's what you need to do. But these are the people that you need to start with. Start with these people who are who are close to you and you don't want them too close to you at the time. And you don't really have any real ties to these people. Go ahead and start kicking them out of your bubble. Start start freeing up that space. It's like call it a declutter. It's like you decluttering your closet or something like, all right, I don't need you in here anymore. You going to storage. OK, you go into the trash. Identify who those people are for you. Clean out your bubble and get that refresher that you really need. Put your foot down and say what you no longer allowing. Like what things do you not want to allow into your life anymore? This will allow you the space that you need to grow. And it's so important that you reserve as much of your energy for yourself as possible. We have things that happen on a daily basis that we can't control. So being in control of what and who you allow into your life is crucial. So try to control that as much as possible. Try to control the things that you really can, because it's going to be things that happen every single day that's going to invade your bubble that you can't uh, you just can't escape. it. You can't stop it from happening. It's inevitable. It's not going to um, do anything. You're just going to have to roll with it. And it's going to be your reaction that's going to help you carry yourself over. But that personal space, though, what are we talking about? You can control that. Control who's coming in, control who's going out. Put your foot down. Say no. Like, you know what? I'm not doing it anymore. Reserve your right to say no. Reserve your right to say no to anyone. I don't care who it is. I don't care what it is. If it doesn't work for you, if it doesn't fit with you at the current moment, say no. They get in their feelings. They get mad. It is what it is. What can you do about it? You protecting yourself. You can't be everything to everybody. There will be people who are upset once you set these boundaries. So be firm and stick to your decision. Don't feel bad about it. So I want you guys to go out there and start setting those boundaries, set those boundaries for for who you need in your life, who you want in your life and what things are you accepting and not accepting anymore. These are things you need to do for yourself. These are things you need to do for your personal health, for things that's going to help you. Uh, feel much better. Things are going to help you preserve yourself, preserve your energy because it sucks it out of you. Trust me. I know I've been through it. But once you preserve your energy and you start to set those boundaries in your life, then you're going to see a huge change. You're going to see a huge shift come within you. So go set some boundaries right down the boundaries that you need to set the things that you will accept, the things that you won't accept anymore. Write those things down and stick to them. Go ahead and enjoy your day. Your night, whenever you listen to this. And remember, everybody has greatness within. Even you.